Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr and welcome to my YouTube channel. You get lots of stand-up and hang out 10 cats and clips and compilations. Uh, you get laughs, I get money. This could not be a more pleasant arrangement. Enjoy. As head of the Catholic Church, Pope Benedict is the boss of every Catholic priest in the world. He's effectively king of the pedos. <laughs> I read about a Catholic priest that exposed himself, so they defrocked him. <laughs> they don't help themselves, do they? <laughs> well, they do, that's part of the problem. <laughs> this scandal could bring the Catholic Church to its knees. <laughs> You've got to finish that one in your own head. <laughs> Somewhat ironically. I personally, I don't think the Pope should worry about the sex scandal. It'll all get sorted out soon enough when Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, comes back from the made-up. <laughs> I'm not being snobbish, but I think you know you're common if you're at the same school as your mum. <laughs> this is a bit snobbish. Do you get annoyed by kids that can't use cutlery properly? That irritates me, if they can't use cutlery properly. Oh. And that would add insult to injury, wouldn't it? If you got stabbed by some asbo yob. <laughs> and they were holding the knife like a pen. <laughs> the most annoying thing my sister does is that show Chatty Man. <laughs> That's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in, I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun, but the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, it's always, invariably it's the same thing, it's always, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Who's at your house fucking your dad? <laughs> I think we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. <laughs> I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. And then one brave soul over there said, no. no I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or, rather, your dad is. <laughs> I thought I'd kick off with some jokes, Glasgow, not fuck about too much. <laughs> I'll pause for breath and say hello. How are you this evening, Glasgow? Are you well? <laughs> like an angry mob. <laughs> bloody, well, I thought we'd kick off properly. We're in a beautiful room, the Armadillo in Glasgow. Bloody marvellous. I thought we'd, we'd start things properly, yeah? Because everyone's dressed up. It's a Saturday night. Let's start things properly. Let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Let's have a round of applause. Yeah, let's have a round of applause for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, quite right, yeah. That's, actually, that's... That's probably enough. Looking round, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> and so your comment there is, I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. <laughs> it's not like I could come to your work and knock the sailors' cocks out your mouth, is it? <laughs> Seems like a very weird thing from a quite a tough-looking man from Glasgow to say. Oh, you've not made much of an effort. <laughs> I thought you'd be dressed up prettier. <laughs> it's a little bit prison rape coming from you, sir. <laughs> That's what it feels like. At what point, and really I'm asking the men, at what point do you get paranoid about receiving enlarge your penis emails? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me getting them, is it? <laughs> it's just I'm currently getting about ten a day. Eight of them are from my girlfriend. <laughs> the two from my mum that really hurt. <laughs> the other thing I've noticed with books is, like, anything with a spiritual element always does brilliantly. Look at the Bible, that's still a bestseller, even though they give it away in hotels. <laughs> I guess you could say I haven't found Jesus, but then I think Jesus should try and find me. He's omnipotent, I'm on telly, how tough's that? <laughs> Make a fucking effort, Christ. <laughs> Or Christ, make a fucking effort. That works either way. I'm cynical about religion, but I'm not a cynic. I, I do believe in other things. I'm willing to believe in aliens, for example. I mean, if aliens don't exist, then who was it that abducted me at the age of 13 and transported me to a room full of weird flashing lights and subjected me to a terrifying rectal probing? <laughs> well, that's right. It was the guy that ran the youth centre disco. <laughs> yeah. The thing that put me off religion was I was raised Catholic. Any other Catholics in? You, it's a weird thing, isn't it? Like, Catholic school, if you go to Catholic school, sex education is very odd. Sex education, they don't want kids to be told about sex. They want to show them.
The Catholic Church are weird. The only kind of contraception they seem to approve of is fucking young boys. <laughs> My girlfriend said she wanted me to tease her. I said, all right, fatty. <laughs> Things don't always work out the way you think. I always thought it was going to be my mum that would catch me masturbating. <laughs> Being your shocked, imagine my surprise. <laughs> I've got no problem buying tampons. I'm a fairly modern man. But apparently they're not a proper present. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mum! <laughs> when I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend, and I used to think that he went everywhere with me, and that I could talk to him and he could hear me, and that he could grant me wishes and stuff. And then I grew up, and I stopped going to church. <laughs> oh, that seems to have divided the room somewhat. <laughs> there's two distinct groups there. There's people that thought that was funny, and then there's a larger group who will be going to heaven. While we're on the subject of religion, I imagine there's quite a few people in here that go to Mass or, or wherever Protestants go. Hell, I'd imagine, I know. <laughs> Have you all seen the new Mel Gibson film? The Passion of the Christ. It's upset an awful lot of Christians. They're, very up, they're up in arms about it. He's, he's made a film about the life of Christ, but he's tacked on this silly Hollywood ending where the hero comes back at the end. Does she love the little baby Jesus, or...? <laughs> Does she love the little baby Jesus or not? My, other, my absolute favourite Christian organisation of all time, it's called Christians Against Teenage Pregnancies. That's the Everest of hypocrisy, isn't it? If Jesus taught us nothing else, he taught us that the unwanted babies of teenage mums can turn out all right. <laughs> <laughs> you look as if you didn't quite understand that. <laughs> Do you know who the protagonist is? It's Jesus. Born at Christmas or Easter. You must have heard of him. <laughs> King of the Jews. Best Jew ever. <laughs> he could walk on water. Well, he probably couldn't walk on water. His mum probably just exaggerated. He was probably very good on ice skates. <laughs> Watching sex on telly with mum and dad, that's embarrassing. I didn't even know they knew to use the camcorder. <laughs> you know those anti-AIDS red ribbons? Yes. You don't see so many of them around these days, do you? That is, I think, because these so-called anti-AIDS ribbons actually offer no protection. <laughs> you think you're upset? I found out from a bloke in the gents. <laughs> Do you realise that last joke makes me sound a little bit gay? I'm not. I realise I'm wearing the kind of shirt that's often lifted. <laughs> but I'm not. My own mum thought I was gay. When I was 19, my mum was convinced I was gay. It's very difficult to convince your mum you're not gay. Until so we got a camcorder, I was fucked. <laughs> My mum told me the best time to ask my dad for anything was during sex. <laughs> Not the best advice I've ever been given. <laughs> I burst him through the bedroom door saying, can I have a new bike? <laughs> he was very upset. His secretary was surprisingly nice about it. <laughs> I got the bike. <laughs> Churches are depressing. I mean, why build all of them in graveyards? <laughs> my local church is raising money for a giant thermometer. <laughs> i tell you what, let's talk about religion. That couldn't possibly upset anyone. <laughs> if Jesus is the way, and to be a Christian is to be in Christ, then aren't all Christians just in the way? <laughs> Jesus says he loves me, but I worry about the age gap. Now, you'll notice out of deference and respect to our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, I've let him bum me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Muslim friend who's really religious. <laughs> Feel the tension in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Muslim friend who's really religious. He knows the Quran backwards, which is... Handy, because that's how you read it. <laughs> Surprisingly well-informed and inoffensive joke about the Islamic faith. And that's because I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> what are the Christians going to do? Forgive me. <laughs> Good luck with that. 
Speaking of Christians, any Catholics in? Yeah. Got a few Catholics? Catholics are a weird bunch. <laughs> Look at the rosary. Basically, anal beads. <laughs> well, this is the last one I'm going to leave you with this, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure talking to you this evening. Obviously, this is uh, it's a lovely T-shirt. World's best dad. I don't know, are there any dads in? Yeah, this may be a nice thing for you to wear around the house. World's best dad. Nice. You wear that with pride. World's best dad. I fucked your mum. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr and I've got a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. Now, I think jokes are like magnets. They attract some people. Some people like my comedy and a million of you came to see me on my last tour. Thanks very much, by the way. Uh, but like magnets, jokes attract and they repel. Some people are repelled by my sense of humour. If that's you, don't come and see me live. But if you like this kind of thing, come and see Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny. I'll be, uh, well, I'll be everywhere. Go to jimmycarr.com for details.